to be in the forefront of efforts against terrorism. To talk about the Congress and much more, Sheriff Lee Bach will be on the program by phone and also with us this morning here on the set, the Executive Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations of Southern California, Hussam Alush. And joining us in the conversation is also Shaquille Saeed. He's the Director of the Islamic Shura Council of Southern California. So much to talk about in 25 minutes and 10 seconds. Please join us. Get your late night fix of smart, sexy, and funny entertainment right here on KTLA. Starting with four fabulous New Yorkers looking for love in Sex in the City. Followed by your favorite friends and Will and Grace. Get out of that bed, put down that toothbrush, and watch Late Night. Make it a nightly habit. Tomorrow at 11 on KTLA, where Late Night lives. Have you two chosen a prescription drug plan yet? Well, we have been comparing. You should look into a health plan that gives you... Uh, comprehensive medical care on top of the prescription drug coverage. Last year, Frank had me sign up with his plan. Secure Horizons Medicare Advantage plan. Without it, my heart bypass surgery would have been very expensive. Charlie and Frank chose a Secure Horizons Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan. In addition to brand name and generic prescription drugs, they're covered for doctor visits, hospital stays, and more. Frank's giving me some pretty crazy advice, but I took him up on Secure Horizons. Yep. It more than made up for the time you told me to take out Norma from Unit 5. <laughs> Secure Horizons provides prescription drug coverage plus comprehensive medical care with no deductibles and low co-payments. So which one of these prescription drug plans is the best choice? There we go again. Yep. To get some advice, call Secure Horizons right now. We'll also send you a free information kit. Welcome back, everybody. On the phone, we have Los Angeles County Sheriff Lee Baca. Sheriff, welcome to the program. Well, thank you, Ray. It's a joy being with you. And we have uh, a couple of your friends on the program. Yes, you do. Hussam Alush, he's the executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations of Southern California. One of the nicest gentlemen I met over the phone. You, thank you so much for being on the program. Appreciate it. Thank you. It. It's really my pleasure to be here. And your friend right next to you is Shaquille Saeed. He's the executive director of the Islamic Shura Council of Southern California. Uh, Saeed, what, what is Shura? What does that mean? What, what is what Shura is, means consultation. So it's an Islamic consultative council. Ah, I got you. I got you. So it's a group of folks who believe in a, a particular cause and you work together on, the, on different right. causes and that sort of thing? This is sort of archdiocese of Muslim community. Oh, I got you. Thank you so much for being on the program. Gentlemen, you formed the council and the, uh, it's called the uh, Muslim American Homeland Security Congress. Uh, why? What is the purpose? Sheriff, we'll start with you. Well, I think that the purpose obviously is that hundreds of thousands, millions of Muslim Americans are right there in the trenches fighting the war against terror as all Americans in terms of supporting our national government's effort, our local law enforcement, and our federal and state law enforcement. And people don't know that. I mean, you know, there's an amazing amount of uh, information that the Muslim American community has disseminated amongst itself. Uh, and we speak loudly here in Southern California and throughout the nation that Muslim Americans are very patriotic, and yet no one's hearing it. And so, therefore, the Muslim American Homeland Security Congress was an idea whose time has come. And there's many more things to say about why its time has come, but that's the starting point. Well, basically, they formalized what they've already been doing for two or three years already. Am I correct? Very, very correct. And actually, for many, many years, even prior to the terrorist attacks of September 11, we've been working with various law enforcement agencies, from the FBI to the police departments, and very gracefully through with the, with the Sheriff Lee Baca through the Sheriff Department in L.A., and right after the, the September 11 attacks, the, the cooperation increased. But there was a time when we felt, you know what, we need to formalize what each of us had been doing, either reactively or uh, every frequency, every small or long frequency. So we decided to do something in a proactive way. We got together. Uh, the sheriff had a, a, a leading effort in, in taking, leading the effort, I think. I will give him a lot of credit for taking the initiative, knowing us each individually. He said, you know what, why don't we do something collectively? And we. We felt absolutely the time has, is right for this idea. We got together as the organizations and the leaders of the whole Muslim community. That, that is what's unique about it. And that's, what really, I wanna ask, that's what I want to ask yes. Shaquille. Who's involved, yeah. including uh, other than the Muslim community, who else is involved? Sure. Currently, there is the Muslim leadership of greater Southern California area. 
This perhaps is the first time the consolidation and convergence of all the efforts of various organizations that has been in place for so long, uh, including in this is Council of American Islamic Relations that uh, Hussam represents, uh, myself, Islamic Shura Council of Southern California, Muslim Public Affairs Council, Council of Pakistan American Affairs, and host of other organizations, educational organizations, mosques and Muslim organizations. And including the many advisory people, non-Muslims, uh, also, uh, That's correct. Congress. We are reaching out to a host of other faith groups to draw from their experiences and, and see how we can enrich our experience and share and leverage each other's strengths also. And what does that mean, Sheriff, in terms of responsibility, security responsibilities? What does that mean from your perspective? Well, it means many things. Uh, the Congress essentially uh, 